So, this thing has been happening to me lately, and I've thought about what it's been teaching me and showing me. And one of them is that I've already been more than enough. I was always enough. I was always that girl, and I was the one that needed to see it. That's one. The second is that you are doing enough. You've done more than enough, and you don't need permission to take a break and take as long as you need. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with you for not being able to finish or to keep going and for pausing as long as you need I missed a project, I missed a goal, I missed an event or something that you have to come have coming up because all of us need juice for the journey. So to the first point about realizing that you're already enough, that you were always rocking and that you need to not need anybody else, not even the person closest to you or what have you to compliment you to see it. So I've been doing this thing where I um, look at some of my old photos and really I was looking at my daughter and just realizing like I'm starting to have those moments now where it's like, oh my goodness, it's true. Like she was just this small, like just last year I didn't realize and, and like I just need to hang on to these moments and cherish each one. And lately in the midst of looking at those moments, I've also been seeing myself. And I've been seeing how dope I was, fine I was, how amazing of a woman, a goddess, a badass I was. And I know, I remember in some of these moments that I'm looking at, and I, I'm not even talking about, you know, some people say, what would you say to your younger self? I'm talking about what I would say to myself five years ago four years ago, three years ago, looking at these moments. It's just, if you feel it, whatever that it is that makes you feel good and look good and all of those things, you don't need a compliment from anybody else. You don't need the... Um, buy-in and the affirmation and the shortness from your girl group, from your spouse, from whoever. There's so many moments that I've just came across while reminiscing and enjoying looking through, okay, where I was this time, you know, a few years ago, where Nayara was at this moment. And I realized, wow, I remember so desperately wanting somebody to see me and to see everything that I was putting in and recognize it. Or I remember just wanting, you know, I remember this day and wanting someone to say, you know, you're beautiful or look at you, you know, not only did you get up and shower um, through everything that this is taking, but just look at you. And I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> because now I'm looking back at these pictures and I'm like, girl, you were bad or wow, like you, you did that. You pulled that off or, you know, you managed this while also doing that. And, and look at you like dancing and look at your joy or look at, you know, and I'm just realizing like you were it and you are it and you've always been it. And I'm looking at some of the moments where I thought, okay, you know, got a little roll there or, or this, that, and I'm looking at that now like, shit, that wasn't nothing. I want that bad. <laughs> but so my point is that um, it's kind of hurt it, actually. It's hurt it in a way because um, it's just a random book. I'm taking the time to enjoy and read. Everybody check out Kaboom Books Houston. You can get some good ones there. It's kind of hurt it because you can't get those times back. I'm a words of affirmations person. And I pour so much out into others. And I am a person that likes to make other people happy and, and make other people smile. I don't sacrifice my own happiness. 
and I do prioritize um, what gives me joy, but I look at certain moments realizing that I didn't need to let certain people, no matter who they were in my life, steal from my beauty or my joy or my essence. And so what I just want to say from somebody else today is um, take the time to look at yourself in the mirror and compliment yourself before you walk out the door. Compliment yourself. Take the time while you are doing things that you have desired or needed to or wanted to to say, yes, this feels good. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm rocking. Um, this was awesome. Take that moment. You know, don't wait until somebody else gives you an award that you applied for, all of this shit. You know, have that moment with your damn self on your own Oscar stage and say, you know, I just want to thank you, the Academy. I got my grow shopping done this week. Um, you know, I, ooh, when I look back at Tuesday, I was able to, you know, go A, B, C, D, E, F. We don't know how amazing we are, how miraculous we are. And it just, I think, sucks to look back and and just want to be right back in that moment and say you are you are everything you believe and really feel and even though you may deeply desire somebody else to say those things and give it back to you and affirm it for you child please they can't because they scared that you would know how awesome and talented and beautiful and bad you are okay finally um i've just had these moments lately where i'm like i can't i i can't do anymore i mean it's in the middle of like wednesday and, and that's my day or you know i i just can't do anymore when i say that's my day my work day right now I balance homeschooling part-time and my business part-time. But really, if you're a mother and you're a woman entrepreneur, and really, you know, we're actually doing both things full-time, <laughs> overtime, uh, in the wee hours, on the weekends, you know, just um, the time you watch your child on the weekend alone is full-time, okay? We're not even talking about the rest of the day. So anyway... On the me days where I am balancing grocery shopping, cleaning, working out, doing business stuff and all these things, I realize, oh my goodness, I just, I don't want to do any more marketing. I don't want to do any more copywriting. I don't want to do any more email crafting. I, do, I just can't. And I'm like, I got, I, I dealt with this feeling of behind and, but if I stop, I'll get more behind. But I said, but you got to stop. You've got to stop. And what I have literally started telling myself is there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. Because when you have those moments where you know, like, I've got this coming up and I've got this goal and I, I have these people that are tied to me on this or depending on me. It's like you feel like you can't stop or you'll get behind. But what I'm saying to myself from last week even is that it's good that you stopped. And keep pausing and keep stopping because how will you have energy to keep going? And sometimes we also have to survey the energy around us and the people around us. They're not doing what you're doing. <laughs> they don't have all of the same hormones, uh, drives. Um, they're not set up the same way in life or even responsibilities. So, you know, um, the comparison and the, you know, that has to stop too, you know. What I give from my body and my energy and my labor and everything, you know, it just takes a different kind of work. So if you need to stop, stop. And those are the two things that I think we must continually, 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 continually affirm. You were enough. Now give yourself today what you needed to give yourself then. Don't wait for another a lost pound, uh, whatever it is to, to reach a certain goal or nothing. You look at yourself today and just affirm and hold your essence and your beauty. 
And you also pause as often as necessary and say, I have done a fucking nut. If I need to sit for two days and do nothing, that is something. I assure you as human beings, you are doing something. But we've got to be okay with saying, who, 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 what, what rule said that I am absolutely supposed to go this amount of hours every single week? Not mine, not my clock clearly can't. And that's why I often feel not enough in this world because I, I'm like, how are all of these machine people able to, to keep going? You don't know what kind of breakdowns they're having and you don't know what kind of where they've lost something for life or whatever it is. But all you have to focus on is it takes something different for you. And for you to show up as who you are optimally and all that you give, oh, you got to take those pauses. You got to take the because for the smile that you give, the energy, the grace, the substance in life that you give, oh, that, that reservoir has to be filled. Yeah. And it can't come from a place of exhaustion. So peace, blessings, and I hope that you receive this message. Keep doing you. Keep loving you and keep giving to others that which you would want for yourself. And don't wait for others to give you permission. And don't even wait for others to give it before you give it to them. And sometimes people just, they don't know. And that's why you're on this earth. Thank you. <laughs>